Hey guys and welcome to part 4 and thus the final part of my Shady Creeks Grand Theft Auto San Andreas exploration for creatures and stuff like that. Different introduction again Simon but I don't care. Um, I gave the introduction in the very first video and in this video we will be, the final video, doing the central core and eastern part of Shady Creeks. This is Baco Beyond. I'll show you something about Baco Beyond when we do the do the investigation for that but so let's head up there through these uh, country of roads that I know this this network of roads I know so well because I take so many shortcuts through here and I get a weird feeling every time and in this one I'd like to start off by showing you another weird texture and it's easy to find you come to this cabin which has nothing in it by the way I ain't even gonna be asked to go inside and you drive dead up the cities up this hill here. Here it is. Uh, it's not very easy to see. It's up on the top there. I will uh, show you. Um, I'll use a cheat to get up there to show you. Um, I will not save the game though. It's this texture here in front of us now. It's actually this thing. But we're still in this black thing here. This black and white thing, the triangle thing. Let's go backwards a bit so you can see it a bit better. The trees are in the way. So yeah, it's that thing um, up there. We, we, that's the weird texture that the guy found that I was on about his video with the music in the last, in my last video. That's the texture that he found that he thought might be evidence for the creature. So yeah, so I will not save that game. That game is ruined now, it's had a cheat on it. Um, I do believe in cheats for fun, but you know, I don't believe in saving the game afterwards. I've completed the game without cheats, so let's keep it clean, don't want to go and corrupt. And let's get exploring the uh, central areas of. Whoa! Shady Creeks! No, 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 not down into the water. This is, this is the hard bit, going around the edges of the water. Well, yeah, this is the main bit, and if you look at the map now, you can see it's completely green. We are completely in the wilderness, virtually. So let's go. I tell you what, let's let's start and do it in lines. Let's go from here up to up the east side, near the water, and have a look. There's that car we saw in the first one. So we'll go from here. Along here, that's just a boat in the water. I didn't notice that was there before though, that's a handy little thing to know. Ah, there's a car up there, I think that might even be a ghost car to be honest. Is it a ghost car? Yes it is. I'll tell you how it's a ghost car, I don't want to spoil it for the ghost car myth series, but you can see it's beaten up. It Well, it's beaten up, i say it's beaten up. To put it in plain English, I know beating up is a bit of an American term, and I'm actually British, I'm an English guy. Uh, it's ruined, it's it's wrecked. It's it, it's cr cracked windows, dented and paintwork and all that. That's how you can tell it's a ghost car. Simple as that. You know, it's it, it, it's it's damaged. That's what I was talking about, it's damaged, it's well damaged as far as we went up so now we can have an explore exploring in the center up here first ooh start smoking that's not good I can't see anything in here let's just back over to that cabin Yep, that's just a shady cabin. But as I said, there is absolutely nothing in there you can see in there. Um, if I had a sniper rifle, I'd actually go in and show you from that window you can get a pretty creepy shot up there. I think it's just a tree. Well, actually somebody th thought they saw a creature shot shape up there. But I, c I couldn't find it and it was really chilly. Chill chilling, chilling rather, because it was like... Um, 
I went in there thinking, oh, it's going to be a tree. So I decided, okay, I'll go in, I'll get a sniper rifle, I'll go in and have a look through and go through the exactly the same window, exactly the same angle. Nothing. Nothing there, guys. Oh, creepy. We're back up to the northern area. And that is the back hole beyond across. No, that's not the back hole beyond across there. That's another area of shady creeks. Oops. I won't be too pleased if I lose this vehicle, mind. Whoa. This thing's quite hard to steer. So we didn't exactly do where. Uh, this area. Oops. Oh well. We'll do it. We'll do it. We're coming to the eastern area. And now we're up. You see that road up there? That's the back up beyond up there. Further beyond. Back up beyond is also creepy because you can see in the distance there, just behind that rock, the, the trees are tilted in the back up beyond. You never get that in Shady Creeks. Look at the trees. They're tilted. It's like there's a, the whole place is on an earthquake. Or on a moving plate and tilting over. Okay, we've explored this side of Shady Creeks enough. I really want to go. I really want to go into the heart of the place now. Round here, and up here, we've done this area here really, and across the south here, we've done that. So yeah, I really want to go into the heart of Shady Creeks now. I know Shady Creeks is a big area, but you can see in comparison just how small it actually is on the map. Yet again. San Andreas is a big game, but I tell you what, guys, if you never, if you never play games that are huge, and you like this sort of game, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, you'll love Just Cause 2. Just Cause 2 is huge. You could, f there's, there's like three or four islands, and one of the smaller islands, shall we put it, one of the uh, islands that makes up about an eighth of the map is a uh, is like it's probably the size of the whole of San Andreas, and San Andreas can fit into this just cause two map by over a hundred times or something like that. It's colossal. It's huge. Um, I want to go up um, onto that hill as well, back towards those rocks. I want to make sure I've covered all of Shady Creeks. I think I've already covered. We've already covered all of it. Just this area up here. We've covered uh, the wilderness. You know, we've covered over towards back over beyond. We've covered the north, south, east, and west. And the central area. I think. Oh yeah, that's back of that creepy looking texture. I think. Is it? No, it's a different texture. That's the creepy texture there. The side of. So we'll go looking at that again. But there's a few textures that look uh, a bit creepy and all that. Look, there's another one there. Is, is that another one? I think it is. Hold on a minute. We go down here. Yeah, it is. But it's the same texture, I think. Same. Can't really see it like this. Um. No way to change camera. Yeah. Unfortunately not. But. Ah, that's better. There you can see it now. It's the same texture. It's the same texture. On a different angle. Different area of the game. So there's two textures like that, apparently, but there you can see it again, just above CJ's head now. Oh, that's creepy, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> yeah, let's get searching anyway, enough messing around. Um, let's get searched, back to searching uh, for creatures, and yeah, I guess I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything, but I've seen a lot of strange things. 
strange chilling moments that just give me the evidence you know give me that there's another I've just seen another thing over there on top of that hill just disappearing over you know it's just oh it's just so weird the whole thing is just weird One thing I hate about uploading videos though is when I have to listen back to them, like videos like this. Oh, I get thirty-four dollars. Woohoo! Videos like this because I've got it's got my voice in. And I tell you what, you ask any Let's Play person out there, the person that makes LPs and stuff like that, they'll agree with me. You hate your own voice. You really do hate it. Listening back to it and all that is just oh god. I can't explain it. It's just like I think it's the same sort of feeling inside that stops us being so arrogant. And I'm doing a mud spin. I'm get I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Way gear one. Rock on. And now I'll probably go off a cliff and die. Yeah, there you go. Well, I just wanted to make sure there was nothing up there. Um, yeah, so, th so there's quite a few myths that I'll be doing. Obviously, I'll be doing, I'll be doing other myths as well, like, like, you know, the, the ghost graffiti in the graveyard in Los Santos and stuff like that, and, uh, and, and the, um, you know, there's one in Las Venturas, I think. There's other myths, anyway, the, the failing lem lemons, lemmings, I'll, I'll I'll try and find some. The suicidal photographer I will definitely be doing because I know that is 100% true, although I do believe it's just a programming error. But I will definitely be doing that. But I think, um, yeah, we're back in the north here. I think we've done all of Shady Creeks, to be honest. We've covered it all a few times. We've done an extensive search of the entire area. The uh, the creature was seen most in the uh, most in the areas of the uh, last video. Um, statistically, the area, the central area that I've done in my last video, is the area that most players have seen the creature or reported sightings of the creature or whatever it is. So that's quite strange because if you think about it, guys, the areas the the outside areas that I did first in my videos were the areas where I, th where I actually stopped and said, what was that? Oh, uh, what was that? What was that? If you think back, it was, wasn't it? It's like, you know, that northern video, that last video, what was that? Just came around the car, there's something disappeared. I haven't really seen too much of that. I've seen one or two. I've seen one moment, I think, over the brow of that hill where it disappeared. It's not doing the same again now at the same angle. Um, but yeah, there hasn't been too, mi too much of that in in this sort of uh, series, this sort of um, video rather, this this video, in the central video. So just to check it out, you know, I think I'm going to start heading, yeah, I'm going to start heading back now. So that concludes the Shady Creeks Creature uh, investigation. Oh, that's a fierce looking texture as well. There. Um... So I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you'll join me in my second myth. Um, my second myth is probably going to be back or beyond creature slash Bigfoot. And um, yeah, once again, I thank you for watching. So my final evaluation is this. The Shady Creek's creature is 75% true. And the chances that we will ever come in contact with it, 2%. I've put that up from zero. Very, very, very tiny, very small chance we'll ever come in contact with there. Uh, one to two percent will ever come in contact with it, but yeah, that's it, really. That's all. You know, about a seventy-five percent chance that the Shady Creek creature is true by Simo two thousand nine Bora, and that's in my opinion. 
And I thank you once again for watching. Take care, and I'll see you over in Myth 2.